Hey gang and welcome to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video, I'm Crossing Channel and one of the absolute best and most mysterious new features in the 2.0 update is the return of Katrina and her fortune telling shop on Harvey's Island. Now every single day Katrina can raise you your fortune which will result in you getting either good luck which can have a ton of really positive effects on your character or you can get bad luck which will impact your character negatively. Now there's actually a ton of really cool hidden features that you'll want to know about related to Katrina and fortune telling in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This includes the impacts of good and bad luck on your character in New Horizons as well as villager blessings too. So let's jump right into this. Before we begin I just want to mention that I have new Crossing Channel merch which is available in my store. If you want to help support the channel in style and get some really cool merch that was designed by Pitfall Seeds, then definitely check it out, the link is in the video description. So every single day you can visit Katrina on Harvey's Island and get a fortune from her. This fortune could either be one that results in you having good luck, or it could result in you having bad luck. Now this feature seemingly won't activate until you actually get your fortune read from her that day, so if you're worried about getting bad luck randomly then that shouldn't be much of an issue. But if you do talk to Katrina you run the risk of getting either one. Now of course I say risk but good luck can be amazing and even some of the bad luck effects can definitely be helpful as well. Nintendo Life has done a great job of listing them out so I'm going to go over some of the good and bad luck effects that you can get in Animal Crossing New Horizons. None of these are explained directly to you in the game, so it's incredibly interesting that there's so many secret effects which can really change how your day goes in Animal Crossing New Horizons, either for the better or for the worse. Now, good luck and bad luck is broken down into four categories, belongings, money, health, and friendship, and Katrina will let you know which of these has been affected when you go get your fortune. Don't worry, not all of these can be affected at once, so you won't see anything too crazy happen, but there are definitely some really interesting effects in here that you're going to want to know about. If you have good luck with belongings that day, your tools won't break for a whole day, which is a crazy new effect. I'm honestly really happy that they added this one in, and although it only lasts for a single day, this is going to be very useful for a lot of people who don't want those tools to be breaking when they're working on their islands. So you may want to line it up so you get this type of luck on the day that you're doing some serious work around your island. Of course, you may also want your tools to break if you want to get those Nook Mile achievements, but we'll get into that later. Villagers will give you more gifts in the day, so that's a fantastic one where villagers will just be giving you more presents than they usually would, which is great. And you'll get a guaranteed rare Kappen Island. As I explained in my Kappen video, some islands are rarer than others, for example, the seasonal ones which have seasonal materials. So you're guaranteed to get a rare Kappen Island that day, provided you haven't already visited one before you talk to Katrina. Now onto the money category, Balloon 1000 Bell Rewards will now be worth 3000 Bells, so you get just a little bit of extra Bells there. Money Rocks drop a lot more money than they usually would, which is really great, so if you're looking to get even more Bells and you know, you're kind of running low on them, this type of luck is definitely good for you. Chance of finding Golden Nuggets has increased from 1% to 11%, which is a big jump, meaning you should be seeing Golden Nuggets a lot more than you usually were before. Glowing spots will contain 5,000 bells instead of 1,000, so that's a pretty nice upgrade that definitely will be appreciated. Trees will drop 300 bells instead of the usual 100 bells when you shake them. Now onto the health category, you will get double stamina when you eat food. This is great if you're trying to move a lot of stuff around like trees and such and destroy those rocks, this is going to be great for you. Usually you'll get about 5 stamina when you eat a dish that you've made, so it looks like you'd be getting 10 this time, which is crazy. Then finally we have friendship, which will give you one friendship point to a random villager, and villagers will also approach you with a gift, the chance of that will be increased. So that's really cool, and all of these good luck effects are honestly amazing. Like I said, these aren't explicitly lined out anywhere in the game as far as I know, they're kind of hidden, so it's definitely good to know about these secret things because these can really have a big impact on your day in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it is insane to me that they brought back the entire luck feature from past Animal Crossing games. Although this time around it definitely seems a bit more expanded upon honestly, especially with purifications which I'm going to talk about very soon. 
But of course, with good luck comes bad luck, and Katrina can let you know that your luck will diminish. Now, again, it's in the four different categories, so I'm going to go over them. The first one, of course, is belongings, and tools will break more easily. Now, this might be bad luck for some of you, but again, if you're trying to get that achievement where you want to break your tools, this one could actually be pretty good. Villagers will give you fewer gifts. This might be a little bit annoying, but to be honest with you, I never really get much good from my villagers anyways. No gyroids on Kappan Islands, so you may want to visit your Kappan Islands sometimes before you go to Katrina if you feel like you're going to have bad luck, although there's no real way of telling as far as I know. And the Gold Island will not be available on Nook Mile Tours. That one seems like the most dramatic one to me. And additionally, you also don't get any rare islands on cap and boat tours. So this belongings one can really affect your tours. So you may want to be careful with that. Moving on to money, you'll get no glowing spot for one day, no money rocks for one day, zero chance of finding golden nuggets, balloon presents containing money will always be 10,000 bells, so nothing more. Gold Island will not be available once again. With friendship, you will lose three friendship points with a random villager, which is a bit of a bummer. And with health, it will halve the stamina that you get from food. And of course, the one that you've all been waiting for, the classic in Animal Crossing, you will actually trip up. This is something that you've seen with the King Tup mask, of course, but this time it can just happen normally when you get this type of bad luck. So you'll definitely want to watch out for that. Now, don't worry, because if you do get unlucky like this, Katrina can actually purify you and kind of sort out that bad luck problem. This is a neat feature which will cost you 10,000 bells. If you don't want the type of bad luck and you do mind having it for that day, then this is definitely something you'll want to do. It's fairly inexpensive given that she will help you avoid this terrible plague that has been put upon you. Now, she will also send you a special Dharma in the mail the next day as kind of a lucky item from her, which is really nice. This is the only way of getting this item as far as I can tell. And you can also use these items to craft bigger Dharmas later on in the game once you get the recipes. So you'll definitely want to make sure you collect some of these. Her purification feature is definitely really interesting. And it's not the only type of blessing that she will do upon you. There are also friendship boosts and blessings that you can do with Katrina, which is a really cool way of boosting your friendship with any villager that you choose around your island. Now, Nintendo Life explains here exactly what type of reading will give you what boost. This will basically increase your friendship points with your villagers. It might seem a little bit confusing, but I think the simplest way of explaining it is just go talk to Katrina, get a friendship boost with a villager you want, and then you should get a nice little friendship increase with them, which will help you improve your friendship and make your way towards best friends with them. Once you're better friends with your villagers, of course, you'll unlock more interactions, and of course, once your bestest friends, your villagers, you have a chance of getting their photo as well. So this will definitely be worth doing for those of you who are trying to unlock those types of items. All in all, Katrina is a pretty elaborate feature and her fortune telling and the return of luck to Animal Crossing New Horizons has honestly changed the day to day of the game in a pretty significant way as all of these different elements can come into play when you get your fortune done. So yeah, it's definitely worth getting your fortune read by Katrina. There's just so much to it, and I love the fact that the game now has this element, which is something that has been missing since the start. But let me know in the comment section down below, have you experienced any of these effects from Katrina yet? Have you gotten more good luck or more bad luck in Animal Crossing New Horizons? If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like to support the content. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. And if you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.